they request unit templates, which they fill out, that are basically Google Docs that they have editing rights to. So, and then they attribute outcomes to those units. So that's all that's built. And then if we click in the actual units, you've got several tools here uh, for filtering and exploring your curriculum. So has anyone ever seen Google look like this, right? So say I'm interested in what's happening in uh, 10 English. I can pull up all of the units from 10 English. I can actually go inside um, the actual unit and interact with this teacher. I can comment as I would in a normal doc carry on. You can see they've actually already been doing this. So this is our, at the time, he was our director of studies. He's now a professional development coordinator, but in his role, he would go in and have these conversations continuously. So this curriculum is a living and breathing document. Um, and with the built-in file revision history, imagine what this looks like five, ten years from now. Like you're really, it gives the principals, the curriculum coordinators, admin sort of a lens into a particular unit and to see are we living up to the mission that we say we do and is that documented somewhere. So on, from the teacher standpoint, all they're doing is filling in a blank template and answering the questions in the template. And, the and they're linking to resources they have for those units. So, so similar to the filters like that, you have a last updated filter. Look at this. Like, I can actually see, well, who's been touching this really recently, right? So this is, let's go all the way. We did most of the work on this last year, but since May 15th of 2016, I get a list. Well, let me uncheck the English one. There we go. So as, as recent as, wow, this is getting really close. This is September 13th. There's lots of people still doing continuous work on curriculum because these things live in their own drive. They live in their own Google Drive. Um, I can filter by subject area, grade level. We have these things called cycle numbers. We have an eight day cycle in our school, A through H day. So we identify cycles one through 22 throughout the academic year. Um, but, so that's one of the aspects of this, and this is actually what we're gonna build today together. 